Hello friends, good morning. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. Happy Sunday. So this morning before I head out to my daughter and grandson, I wanted to bring you this tumbler. So this is the one I've been working on. This is, of course, for me, the most crafty nurse. And I am loving this. Look at this glitter. This glitter is amazing. I love it. And it's chunky and look how flat it's laying. It is so pretty. It's like a, a disco ball or crushed up glass. I love this so much. So I thought that this would be a really cool idea. When I was doing the tumbler for my hairdresser, I thought, oh, I should do one for myself for, you know, the same thing. You have this with you and, you know, it will serve as a conversation because it's so sparkly. You know, people ask about them when they see them and there you go. YouTube subscribe. So if you want to see this being made, the video is attached and this is just beautiful. It turned out so nice. I'm so happy with it. The colors are amazing. So, all right, listen, I hope you have a blessed and beautiful day. I hope your week coming up is amazing and I will talk to you later, friends. Bye. For this tumbler, we are using a 20 ounce hog tumbler. I do get them from Stainless Steel Depot. And then this is covered with a gray chalk paint. This is the one I used. I really like to use chalk paint on these. I feel like it gives such a beautiful texture and the coverage is really nice. And then the glitter that you saw, that is from Glitter Gem, and it is called A Girl's Best Friend. This is one of my all-time favorite glitters. It is so gorgeous. So I mixed up my epoxy. It's a two-part epoxy. I use Pro Marine. I have had wonderful luck with it. It is by far my favorite epoxy I've used. And then I mix my glitter in about 50-50 on the ratio. I want it to be pretty thick. I don't want my epoxy, you know, I want it to smooth out and level on the turner, but I don't want it to fall off of my tumbler, especially since I have this gorgeous glitter in there. I don't want to lose anything. So I'm using this spatula to put it on. I also use my finger to help smooth it out. It gives a nice smooth texture. But these spatulas are great when you're trying to just make sure you get everything covered and get on a nice smooth layer. You can get them from Amazon. A lot of times they come in different epoxy sets you buy. I buy them at the Dollar Tree. They're very inexpensive, but they work super well. So as you can see, I'm just covering my tumbler with my epoxy glitter mixture. I wanna make sure that everything is covered well. And once I kind of get to where I feel good that everything's covered, then I'll take the rest of it and I will do a pour over it. But when I pour, I want to do these in just very light, small lines up and down. I don't want like gobs of it in one place. I like it to be just super, super small of, you know, th not small, but thin, very thin lines going up and down. And if you need to, you can always take your heat gun and run over it to get out any bubbles to help smooth everything. Now for me, I do always put my epoxy in a warm bath for four minutes, which helps get rid of any bubbles and that sort of stuff. And then I'm just gonna take my finger 
smooth everything out and make sure everything is covered nicely and we're done there we go all right so we'll let this run and come back all right so we're ready to put this together please forgive me it's early i am drinking my coffee while we're doing this because i need to get ready to head over to see my baby girl and my grandson but I want to get this done so that we can um, get it on the spinner before I leave. All right, so look at this. Okay, let's just talk about this for a minute. Holy cow. This, can you see how gorgeous this is? It is so pretty. It looks like broken glass and this is so flat and smooth. Can you believe this huge chunky glitter does not need any sanding not even a light sanding at all like oh my gosh this is beautiful beautiful I am I am in love all right so I have my little handy dandy pool noodle set up here and I'm just gonna I'm gonna start with the name so there you go, that's me. So obviously this is gonna be my tumbler. So I'm just gonna put this on. And I made this big because I wanted it to cover pretty much the length of it. It is a long name. You know what's funny? Um, you guys probably don't know. I don't think I've ever told you. But this name. My husband is the one that set up my YouTube channel. So he's the one that picked that name. And we always joke with him. We're like, did you see somebody called the crafty nurse? And decide that I'm going to be the most crafty nurse? And it's funny, but that was actually the first name that he came up with. So, but we always joke with him that was the cra the crafty nurse was taken, so he went with the most crafty nurse. It's kind of funny. All right, so it's gonna go this way, like this. I'm gonna have to turn like this. So here is my front. So I'm just gonna kind of. measure it out here so it's gonna be my center so I'm gonna start with this one I'm just gonna pull it off oh and don't wrinkle your ends that's not good I did not do a good job with that. go out here so 
Sorry, my eyesight is just off today. It's always, you know, trying to do these things like a little bit far away so that they're under the camera. All right. Uh, still off a little. Sorry. little tiny bit more. I need to be careful. I mess with my stuff too much. It won't stick and then I'll get epoxy underneath it. There we go. There we go. All right. I've got this little bubble right here. But if I can't if I can't um, get it to lay down and it's because it's, you know, on a curved surface, I'll just take a needle and pop it here. That's the cheating way to get it to lay down when you can't get it over the curved surface, right? All right, so. Is that? guy here. There we go. So I did these, basically I just, um, so this YouTube one, I just Googled the image and, um, made a picture and then put it through SVG com converter so that I had YouTube in the right font like this. And then for this arrow, I, you know, of course just used a triangle, made it the right size. And then on these, I just made shapes, made them the right size and, you know, made the font and stuck it in there. Okay. And then, yeah, so that's it. So I'm going to put this on the turner and we'll see you when it's done. All right, so this one, it is got the screw top on it. So I'm gonna do the top as well. I just put a little circle over the top there and I'm actually kind of fine with it not going quite to the hole. And then I taped up the bottom of it. Now I have this mat. I like this mat. This is what I use when I'm, if I have to top stuff off, I got this on Amazon, but it has these little, you know, rises in it. So basically drips are able to go down in it and not sit on my, my um, product that I'm making. All right. So I've got my epoxy. I've actually got quite a bit. I know that I will have a lot left. So I just put a layer on my um, tumbler out there and it's just, you know, I do really pretty light layers these days and that's why I have so much left over. That's the one thing I'm finding with the, um, on the gallon jugs with the um, pumps for them, the amount of epoxy that I get is really much more than I need. Now, 
quite some time ago, I would definitely have used all of that. But these days, I've realized less is more. Oh, and by the way, just again, this is the Glitter Chimp Girl's Best Friend. I love this glitter. So the nice thing is, though, I do have my alphabet mold ready to do some more in it. So I will just put whatever's left over in it. Because as you can see, this is, let me move that. Hopefully you can, hoping you can see this. But this will not take much at all. Barely do my sides here. And then what I will do, I'm getting ready to go see my daughter and my grandson. So what I will do is, um, after I put this on, I'll get dressed and let it sit for a little bit. And then after I'm dressed, before I leave, I'll be coming in and taking off this tape. As well as the dot in the middle. So... I have it on here just in case, you know, it drips, nothing settles because you don't want anything settling on your ends there. However, I also am not going to put much because, you know, I don't want to give it any more chance than needed. I wasn't going to do this top. I don't always do the tops. and I wasn't going to. Sometimes when I have these screw tops like this, I'll leave a little rim on the bottom as silver and then leave the top silver so that it, you know, matches. And then sometimes I do them. And I wasn't going to do this one. But then I thought, you know, it'll look really, really pretty. All right, so see, I mean, that was quick and easy. Oh, and I did paint it with that same chalk paint. And quick and easy. 